To discuss the visual field point patterns and decrease, let's start with this question. Why it's called C24-2? C stands for central, 24 stands for decrease, which could be 30, 24, and 10. And dash 2 stands for point patterns, which could be 1 or 2. In point pattern 1, the stimuli start on horizontal and vertical line and then the next spots are located 60 ways. On point pattern 2, the points start 3 degree away from the horizontal and vertical line. We prefer to use dash 2. Why? Because if we choose point pattern 1, we are checking only 4 points at the central 10 degree and in point pattern 2 at the central 10 degree we are checking 12 points in addition if we choose point pattern 1 those patients with neurologic visual field defect would be able to see the points on horizontal and vertical line with the seeing part of their own visual field in 30 degrees we are checking the central 60 degree because it extend out 30 degree from fixation in 24 we are checking the central 48 degrees and in 10 we are checking the central 20 degrees in 30 and 24 degrees at the central 10 degrees we have only 12 point but if we check central 10 degrees we are checking 68 points in addition when we are talking about 30 and 24 at the central 6 degree we are checking only four points while in 10-2 because the space between the spots the points are two degree we are checking 16 points this is an example of a patient with central scotoma. As you can see here, there is no point with the threshold value at the central part. But if we check 10-2, because we are checking more points, there's a greater chance that we can find some points with threshold value that could be really helpful in the follow-up for checking the progression of the disease. This is another example of a patient with superior altitudinal defect and no threshold value above the horizontal line. And after checking the 10-2, we can see some points with threshold value above the line, which could be really helpful in the follow-up for checking the progression of the disease.